Thank you for joining us again. This is yet another of the uh, Riddleberger sponsored training videos going out corporate wide to everybody at Comfort Systems. We hope you've all been enjoying them so far. On the new email system, we've been getting a number of people with problems replying to email out of their archive. And I'd like to use this video to explain what exactly is going on with that. Okay. So basically, so in very brief terms, let me tell you what's going on now. New email system, everybody at Comfort Systems has internal new email addresses. This does not affect what your external email address is. In my case, it's at rbiva.com. It's still at rbiva.com. That doesn't matter. That doesn't change for external people. This problem is only for when you're sending email to internal people. Everybody has a new email mailbox address because it is, it is now on the CS domain, not the CSU domain. What happens is that a lot of people go into their archive and they look at a message that was sent to them before the December 5th switch. This message here we'll use as an example very important topic. It's the uh, IT accounting Christmas lunch. This was sent to me on December 1st. So this was using the CSU email mailbox address for all these people who are Comfort Systems USA employees. This message is asking what I'm bringing to the holiday party or if I'm going to be there. I will hit reply all. I'll say I will be there and hit send. What's going to happen and why these fail is because all of these addresses are going to go to the CSU mailbox which no longer accepts mail. It needs to go to the CS mailbox. Let me send it so we can take a look at the non-delivery receipts when they arrive. And now the undeliverable has arrived. Let's take a look at that. It says delivery has failed to all these people. And all these people, I know their email works. There's no reason why these should fail. This problem compounds itself because now I've actually sent an email message to all these incorrect email addresses, which populates my recently used email address line with more incorrect email addresses. Remember, even though lynda.mail at rbiva.com may work for people on the outside, we're inside the network. Even if you're remote on a laptop somewhere, on a broadband modem, it still is will go to the wrong network, go to the wrong email server address. What we need to do if we are going to reply to any email that's saved in an archive is we have to, you get a failure notice, you have to retype in the correct email mailbox addresses for everyone you need to send to. And while you're doing it, you may as well delete the recently used address file, the incorrect mailbox address for that person. Here I can see Linda Mail. I know this is incorrect because I just got a non-delivery on it. In Outlook 2010, it has a nice little X there. I can hit delete. In other versions of Outlook, you actually have to use the arrow key and the delete button to delete what's in there. I go to Mail. Easiest way to look up somebody's last name or email is to put in their last name. Hold the control key down and hit check. Sometimes you have to hit show more names. It comes up with mail comma lindo. This is the correct one. I can hit OK. Now I do this for everybody else in this address. Next person would be Madra. I want to delete the incorrect using control K to resolve the name delete the incorrect one, control K to resolve the name. 
and continue this through everybody who is there. When I hit send, now in my recently used address, the next time I try to email somebody like Linda Mayo, it will come up with the proper address. And I can send a message to that person without receiving an undeliverable receipt. I know this is kind of a confusing topic, but this only applies to archived email sent before the December 5th switch if you're replying to people that have addresses in there that are member of comfort systems and you're getting non-deliverable receipts on them. This does not affect anybody who is applying from the outside world, any of your vendors, any other outside sources. This is everybody at comfort systems, no matter if they're at Carolinas or Houston or San Diego or Virginia, you know, they're all on the same email server. If you have any questions, please contact the help desk or your local IT resource. Hope you enjoyed this video and have a pleasant holiday.